Hi everyone, my name is Karen and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute, but I had my reasons. First of which, my last uh, video was in November 2020, if I remember correctly, and from when I posted that video till like the end of December I was head deep into my exams finals preparations and I had like no time whatsoever to film or even read. I haven't read a book in that period since the 17th of November which is like not ideal but it's okay i had already reached my goodreads goal because of some graphic novels and uh, yeah i had to focus on my exams because they were quite the pain for that but at least they're over it's a new year happy new year so by the title of this video i'm gonna talk to you about my favorite books of 2020 the best books that i've read in 2020 to kick things off i don't think it's gonna be like something new or new for people that already watched my videos before and it's uh, the poppy war and the dragon republic I would have said the entire trilogy but because I already started the third book but as I said I took that break of reading and I still haven't picked it up back again. That sucks. I would have loved to be able to finish this entire series in 2020 but I wasn't able to and I'm gonna pick it up again. But for the sake of this video I only read The Poppy War and The Dragon Republic but those two books Everything about those about those books are perfect. Like I I talked so much about those books before that I don't think I really need I feel the need to talk more about them. Um, I just have one point for people that consider uh, want to read those books, consider reading them in the future. Just be aware that uh, it has a lot of gore and description of warfare and all those nasty business that comes with it like do not be fooled by the age group of uh, our characters because it is definitely an adult fantasy book it's not young adult be careful about those points but those two books i definitely recommend them if you're not afraid to read about like terrible things happening to characters like nothing is sure then definitely pick those books up. The second favorite book that I read in 2020, I also talked about in uh, my all-time favorites. I don't remember which video, but it's uh, The Dream Thieves by Maggie Stiefvater. This is not the first book in the series, The Raven Cycle, it's the second book. And uh, I so preferred it to the first one. I still don't know why I enjoyed this book so much, but I did. And like, it's, it was close to my heart, I guess you can say that. It just, when I took the break from when I began reading the book and tried to annotate it, when I tried to annotate, I lost the want to read and to pick up the book and read it. So I took quite the break with it, like maybe a month or like three weeks before picking it up again. I removed everything that I put, like the sticky tabs and all that and the underlining and everything. I removed them and I reread it from the beginning. And man, I devoured every single word on every single page so fast. I read this book so fast. Like, it's okay if you haven't liked the f if you didn't like the first book in the series, try to pick up the second one. And if you didn't enjoy the second one, then there's a problem. Don't read the book if you didn't like them. But I think that we should always give a second chance for a series that had like three or four books or like maybe more 
because you may not enjoy the first one but the second one might be a lot better this was the case for me like I did enjoy the first one but not as much as the second one the second one like hooked me in and uh, the story and captivated me even though I haven't finished the series yet but I will finish it but I'm taking my sweet time with it I don't want to rush series anymore that was the second favorite book of 2020 for little me the third one I think this one I mentioned it's the break of the priory of the orange tree by Samantha Shannon this hunk of a book took me quite a while to get through that's another point to be made if you get discouraged by the size or the thickness of a, of a book take a break if you're not used to such size of a book take a break I did take a break I was like um, this much in maybe or maybe less and I took like I took like a four month break between this part and the last part last part of the book and it was the best thing I ever did I noticed it I noticed I did and noticed the same thing with the dream thieves I took a break in between where I was and before picking it up again but I did not reread it from the beginning because like if I did I would have taken another break to go through it and I'm glad I didn't because this book was so worth the break I, I did and the time I took to read it because I just I don't know the plot the world the characters I don't consider myself a plot driven reader or a character driven reader it's just as how the author like wants the book to go like following the plot more than the characters or the characters more than the plot I tend to follow what the author wants me how the author wants me to read their book that's why I don't have a preference and I can read most things without like be being feeling discouraged to read or all that that's why the, this book it's even though it's giant do not get discouraged if you like a fantasy it's an adult fantasy by the way if you like fantasy with this with a dash of dragons some kingdoms and queendoms being on the brink of war I guess they were always at a war maybe but like Cold War if you know what I mean yeah you will definitely enjoy this one so don't let the number of pages throw you off and try to pick up the book and if you feel like overwhelmed by the book take a break and come back to it but like don't don't take the break and never pick it up again because it's really really a really good story and you will really enjoy it so yeah this is the third book that i loved this year now this is a new book that I added to my favorites of 2020 and if I did this video back in December it wouldn't have it wouldn't have been on the list because I finished reading it the 30th of December 2020 that's why I think that those types of videos talking about a period of time like 2020 don't film it and publish it in 2020 because you never know what happens in the last few days that you remove from your timeline all these types of videos or posts blog posts that consider a time period never do it and publish it in that time period you can like wait a bit and publish it the next month next day that is not in that time period because a number in the ashes it's gonna be here is one of the best books I've read in 2020 I started it in uh, at the on the 22nd of October maybe 2020 and when I was reading it I was fascinated because first short chapters which is a blessing and uh, I was enjoying I read like half the book and uh, till uh, the 10th of November the 15th something like that and well 
I fell into the exam preparation phase and I did not pick up a single book, but I re-picked it up the 29th of December and I finished it the 30th because it was so good. This book, the characters, the plot, the world, the intrigue, the every single aspect of that book is amazing. And as I said for the Dream Thieves that I don't want to rush a series, this is a type of series that I said so. Like even though I know, I feel it, that I will really enjoy the entire quartet, I don't want to pick it up just yet because I don't want to feel the pressure to keep on reading. Like I want to dedicate, let's say, when I finish another book, like maybe The Burning God, because that's the next book that I want to finish, because I already started it, I'm gonna dedicate this week for it, maybe? Yes, um, I don't want to put it at the same level as another book that I'm excited about to read. That's why maybe it's gonna be after that, or maybe it's gonna be later than that. I don't want to like exactly uh, after the first book that I, I really want to know what's gonna happen I already read the prologue or the first chapter maybe and it hooked me so I know I'm gonna read it but maybe not directly after it I think I forgot to say the authors okay the Poppy War and the Dragon Republic it's by RF Kong the Dream Thieves it's by Maggie Stiefvater the Prior of the Orange Tree is by Samantha Shannon. Uh, An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. And that's it, that's in the book. Okay, that book, everything, every single aspect is so beautifully woven together and it grips you. And there's so many scenes that should be illegal because they like, they don't care about your heart or your feelings because They're mean, but that's what makes the book so good. Yeah, that's what made me love the book, maybe. Looks like I don't care about my feelings, so ooh, yeah. But I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this entire quartet. Even though I've read the first book, I think it's gonna be an amazing one. So yeah, that's the fourth book that I loved last year. The fifth one is, of course, the Greek mythology book that took away my heart. It's Circe by Madeline Miller. I said the author's name. Yes, this one fed my Greek mythology stomach up and it like, it was so satisfied that it demands more from this. The what what made such an impression on me? Of course, it's the first off, it's the Greek mythology, but it's also the writing style. The author's writing is just you can take like an ordinary sentence, but it's Madeline that wrote it, and like it's it's poetry, poetry. And I know she has another book, it's the Song of Achilles, and I know that they say it's uh, it's gonna bring you to tears by the end, but I still wanna read it. I hope to read it this year. Let it be on video for me to remember and in the end be ashamed that I didn't read. Yeah. I really wanna read more of her writing style because it's just so magical and beautiful. It's a talent. It's really good. It's that good. It's also, the other book is also Greek mythology, so that's a plus. That was Circe, and it's the fifth book that I adored and loved in 2020. Now, for the last three books, it's in the same series, and it's a graphic novel. You guessed it, it's Heartstopper, volumes one, two, three. 
it's just so heartwarming and sweet and adorable not every single topic is like cutesy and heartwarming but the overall experience that i had when i read those three books those three graphic novels were amazing they're just the character the story the representation the the topics discussed in the in those books they're things that we should see more in other books too it shouldn't be just for the type of graphic novel or something else the art style that's a plus it's amazing i love it so if you like uh, those types of graphic novels that tackles different kind of uh, topics and, uh, and some insecurities that people can have and disease not really disorders and all that you will love those three books and the fourth book i think she's gonna publish it after she writes another one because she publishes every week so it runs up in the end i think it's gonna be like that i don't know but uh you will definitely what you will definitely love those books and i definitely recommend you to read them because they are amazing i assure you that so with heartstoppers heartstoppers so with heartstopper volumes one two three being the last books on my best top favorite books of 2020 i I think it's done. I finally filmed the first video of 2021. Crazy. So I guess this is the end of this video, the very first video of 2021. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more content from me, little old me, make sure to hit the subscribe button and even hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever I post new videos. So until then, bye everyone. Yay.